also I heard that uh, yeah you, you toured uh, Britain yeah UK at the end of ninety uh, and I heard that there's been some threats in, in Britain as well in England as well. What was that? Is that also a Christian organization? That's uh, Christian uh, these animal activist people. They uh, like to kill animals and they don't like that. Okay, so that's but are you going to play Britain anyway? Of course. Oh, okay. There's more death things on my life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, man, if they want to kill me, they know where I'm at. Hmm. About the last time you played in Britain. I that before they get me a fucking watch out, man, because I'll fucking kill you on the spot. Man. Yeah. Um, when you played in, in the UK, I heard something about your your base was stolen. Is that right? Did you ever get it back? What happened uh, back then? Uh, Somebody broke in or what? We had a. Uh, the dressing room that was right by the front door, and uh, somebody left the room for a couple of seconds, and uh, that's all it took. Somebody took the guitar, but then later on in the show, some kid uh, came up to me while I was walking on stage, uh, came up to me and said something to me about uh, I was an asshole for having a crossbow in my forehead. Mm -hmm. So basically, I walked up on stage, put my other guitar, you know, on stage, and uh, went out in the crowd and attacked this kid. Oh. And then Eric followed and held him while I smashed his face into the ground. But he, but he was the one who stole your face then, or what? I don't think so. No, uh, he was uh, just some stupid fucking Brit that couldn't keep his mouth shut. Uh, okay. I'd like to express his opinion verbally over a beer. Yeah. Uh, um. Can yeah. Can I get a little smoke something? Uh, uh, yeah. Before we move on to your new album, Legion. A little bit of history. I know you used to be called Amon back in the old days. Yeah. How come you changed your, your name? Was there another band who had the rights to Amon or what? No, uh, King Diamond used the, the uh, name. The house, yeah. And, um, <clears throat> we didn't fucking really approve of that after that. No. But um, DSI better describes what the fuck we're doing, you know. Yeah. That was one of my later questions. Might as well say say that now. Obviously, you're you're very much into the occult. What do you think of a band like King Diamond? I think he's a poser. <laughs> you don't like the music at all? No, I think he's a poser. How about? Uh, I think he's got a bunch of bleach blondes playing in his band, and he likes to suck their dicks. <laughs> I don't even think they're playing anymore. Anyway, yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty much over with. Yeah. What do you think of? Um, there's a lot. Of Pseudo satanic bands who just use it as a gimmick, you know, the old Slayer lyrics and so on. What do you think of that? Does that offend you? I think that they're they're beating on a dead drum. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. They've left it out pretty. I mean, much. I'm who I am, and you know, they. If I was to take one of those people from a band that's using it for an image or something like that, mm -hmm. if I was to take them into a ritual where I'm fucking controlling things. I don't think they would like it very much. They'd probably scare them back into Christianity or something. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, let's talk about it, about Legion, your, your latest album. Uh, it's recorded in Morris Sound, like the first album with Scott Burns. But you haven't really got the usual uh, Morris Sound. I read something about they got a, some new equipment over there, or something like that. Yeah, they bought a fully automated board, dude. Yeah. yeah. Were you the first band to use that? Because I think you've got a pretty special sound on the album. Well, that's a, uh, I think uh, Nocturnus used it before us, but... Yeah, uh, okay, but, they were produced by some more, so... Yeah, but um, we basically, what we do is um, we go for the raw sound, because that's what we sound the best is when we're the raw, so we don't EQ. What we did on the first LP is we EQ'd the hell out of the fucking album. Mm -hmm. And with this album, we, don't, we didn't EQ really anything. It's just you're hearing us. You're hearing everything straight, you know? Yeah, fucking EQ and everything, just the way it sounds when we play it. Exactly. About, about the harmonizer effects you had on the first album on your vocals, you dropped them uh, on the on the new album, so it's it's more raw. Yeah. Was that your choice? Because you say something like "fuck off" to the critics anyway. Yeah, I, mean, didn't, I, didn't, I don't need I don't need um, the effects. You know, I'm low enough. I'm a I have a very low voice. Mm -hmm. You know, dogs. You know, only dogs can hear me. Sometimes yeah. I'm too low for them. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't, I didn't need the effects, you know, but uh, I just did it to add some, I just did it to add some accents on parts and uh, everybody fucking tore me into asshole about it. Mm -hmm. So I said, this album, fuck, fuck you, I don't need them, I can just do it, whatever, give it to you just the way it is and roll. Well, and they still think there's a harmonizer on it. Uh-huh. I know well, for a fact. 
there's not. Uh, well, uh, I heard your debut album so, sold more than 150,000 copies. Do you have any sales figures on Legion? Yeah. I think the first album sold like 100,000 mm -hmm. up to date probably. And um, the second album, I don't know, I've heard it's uh, 150,000. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I can't get that's a straight, worldwide. I can't get a straight answer out of a record company. No, well, that's typical. It's a record company. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, I heard that Satan Spawn, the Kako Damon, the first song on the new album, is about your son and his life so far and so on. Uh, well, I was song, wondering, what's this Kako? What does that mean? Well, Kako Damon is Latin for evil demon. Oh, that's evil. Cool. Okay. I don't know Latin. Right, well, anyways, um, that song is basically I wrote the first verse where it goes, shunned from the light, born into darkness, never knowing. Mm. Infinite shrine, spot of the altar, crush mankind. I wrote that verse when he, when he, before he was even born. And you wrote the last? I wrote the last verse after he was born. Yeah. Like two days after he was born. How old is he now? When? 17 months. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Uh, there's been some talk like uh, other big death metal acts like Morbid Angel, Obituary from Florida as well, uh, was to be signed to major labels. Uh, I spoke to Obituary and they talked about a major label. Have you been contacted by any major labels yet? Would you be interested in, in signing to a major label? Uh, I, I would much rather be on a minor label and just pay what a major label would pay you because they're making the same, you know what I'm saying? And you have so no like control? Well, I, I, I have control. Pretty much total control over everything we do. Shut that door, man. You better control an independent label, yeah. I just want a fair deal. And if 50% is not fair, I don't know what is. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't want fucking somebody to hand me a fucking lump of change at the fucking, after all the hard work that I do mm. and exploiting me for who I am and what I am. Mm. And I think it's it's only fair that I get half of what is made. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, half for the band. You know, half for the record company and half for the band. Mm. It's not like that. It's like fucking 95% theirs and 5% the band. And it's not like that. And I want a fair deal. So if the record company wants to give me a fair deal, then I'm interested in staying there. But you don't have a fair deal with Roadrunner now, I don't suppose. Are you interested in, in changing labels? No bands fucking, no band on Road Racer has a fair deal. No, <laughs> okay. No band on any record company probably has a fair deal. I just want to, I just want, I don't know. I think that what I'm asking for is fair. Mm. And uh, there's, you know, we have fucking families and things like that. Yeah, uh, to support them, So, I mean, we can't fucking, you know, who wants to do this shit? And, you know, who wants to have to have a fucking day job? And, uh, you know, have to leave every fucking, you know, 30 days and go play a show. Mm. You know, who wants to do that? I think the record companies need to get off their asses and stop being so fucking greedy mm. and give the bands what they're fucking, you know, they're worth. The story of so, I mean, so if I'm selling, if, if I'm selling the fucking albums that they're saying I'm selling, then I deserve half of what I'm selling. And that's what I want. Mm. Obviously, that's why they don't want to tell you how many albums you, you sell. Well, that's I mean, the general even, if I, even if I sold 50,000 albums, Mm. You know, if I sold 50,000 albums, what's half of 50,000? 25,000. 25,000 split between four people is peanuts. Yeah, yeah. And seeing that you so I'm saying, prepare for the album for more than a year and so on. Yeah, so I mean, if, if, you're, getting, if you're getting half of 150,000, that's $75,000. You split $75,000 between four people mm -hmm. and it's still not even twenty thousand dollars a piece. Mm. So you're getting less than that wow. isn't fair. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, the band, if, I, if a band is fucking, I mean, I do everything. I manage the band. I tour manage the band. I create all of our, our fucking logos. I fucking do all the lyrics. I write music. So I mean, I work more than anybody else in the band. Mm. So I get paid five percent more than anybody else, which is nothing really. Mm. You know. So that, that, I mean, that's, that's just, you know, the record companies need to fucking realize that, you know, these, you know, we're not a bunch of fucking teenagers out there doing this for shits and giggles. You know, we do this because this is what we've done all of our lives. And if you're going to exploit us because of who we are and what we are, then you better fucking pay us all the money you're making on exploiting us. Exactly. Well, that's the general problem in the recording industry. Everybody's being exploited more or less. Yeah.
Uh, well, anyway, uh, yeah, like we were talking about, um, yeah, I saw this uh, documentary uh, on censorship and so on called Dancing with the Devil uh, a couple of months ago, something like that. There were some interview clips with you and some live clips with the side. What do you think of that? Broadcast. Did you see the full broadcast? I can only stomach the only other parts. I can stomach is the parts that they did on those, basically. Uh, you have seen the whole... Yeah, I've seen the show, yeah. yeah that's that's pretty, a lot of, pretty stupid, yeah. yeah. A lot about the Judas Priest and Nazi problems yeah. as well. Yeah. But then again, I mean, I guess it helps us out, you know. Obviously. We're fighting censorship, and that's one thing that our country needs to go. Yeah, but anyway, negative press is, is better than no press as well, right? No. Don't you think so? No, I hate negative press. Ah, uh, okay, but you you get because mentioned that that's much what, more. That's, that's what it is. What it is, it turns out to be, is the journalist gets bored and doesn't have anything better to say, so he turns out there's negative attitude. Yeah, but a program like that that is broadcasted almost worldwide uh, get your name spread to a lot of new people and new. Yeah, that was good. I mean, yeah. I enjoyed the program. Uh -huh. It was okay. nothing that I mean I would want to do every day. Okay, just a few more questions. I read somewhere that you never go to any death metal shows in Florida. Mm -hmm. Don't you like the other death metal bands in Florida? No, it's not that, man. I just, it's, um, I hung out, I did, I did my time in the scene, you know, hanging out and that. It was the same, it's the same people every day. But see, it's not basically that I don't like to. I do go to shows every once on a rare occasion, I will go, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, basically, I live out in the country and I do my own thing and I don't, you know, I don't have contact with outside people, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, this is the only time that I have contact with the outside world. Ah. Basically, when I'm home, that's where I'm at. Okay, so it's not that you don't like the other bands? No, then? no, I don't like the other bands. There's a few bands in Florida that talk too much shit. Ah. But, you know, other than that, um, you know, I'm not going to go hang out with people that, I, you know, that are two-faced, you know what I'm saying? I just don't, I'm not into that fucking, you know, ah. that's plastic. And I'm not into plastic, man. Mm -hmm. I stay in my world where reality is fucking one with me. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, what do you think of? Uh, there's a quite a new, almost wave of black metal bands like Dark Throne and uh, yeah, Samuel and Prophanatica and so on. What do you think of that new wave? Do you respect those bands? Do you think they're good? I said good luck. Yeah. If you got this, if you got what somebody wants, and you got a good product. Then Okay, then just a brief point about future plans. After you, you finish this tour just before Christmas, something like that, and are you going to write a new album or are you going to tour the States? Or? Well, we just got off the tour of the States, six weeks in the United States, and um, what we're going to do now is get back to the house and um, just finish writing what we need to write and uh, wrapping everything up. But we're going to spend a long time on doing what we're doing for DSI 3. Uh -huh. The third album is going to be longer, and we're going to be going back to what we are, and we're not going to let people fucking determine what we put on our album covers, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, you'll possibly see armor and all that stuff on the third DSI album. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I, I've got some old videos from uh, the UK K2 and some uh, shows from the States as well, where you're playing armor. I was wondering why you, you dropped that pretty much now, haven't you? Uh, no, basically we're just making new stuff. And uh, uh, a lot of bands have made, um, a lot of bands and critics have made uh, comments about that we need that armor to be brutal. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They think that we, you know, they're saying, making statements like, we need the armor to be a brutal band. And what we're doing now is we're going to do a tour. We did the tour of the United States with no armor. And we did, we're going to do this tour with no armor and no nothing. And we're just going to let the music speak for itself. Yeah. But you're planning to pick up the armor again? Oh, we, we never dropped it. We still, I make all that stuff. Just to... I make not... everybody in the bands. Huh. And when I get home, I'm going to get my welder out and start making some pretty scary stuff. Yeah, but isn't it heavy to carry around and isn't it uncomfortable <laughs> to be in on stage? Well, it's more uncomfortable having some fan flying into you. Yeah, obviously, yeah. And when you got that out, they don't want to fly into you, you know? That's a good point. It's <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like a cheese, a human cheese grater. Yeah. You know, I'm <laughs> really quick with it. Uh. And if I'd stage dive with it, I would fuck up quite a few people. <laughs> <laughs> I got my boots, man. I mean, that's just a small example of my fucking armor. Yeah, yeah I mean, I have massive fucking sets of armor that I make. Uh. 
that are just made for fucking tearing people apart. Uh, I saw that uh, back in the old days, also the two guitars had the armor on, so you're all going to be bagging armor. Well, I mean, we're gonna just prove to this fucking scene that we don't need that shit to be brutal. We wear it because we like to fuck people up. So as soon as you, as you prove it to the scene, you're going to pick it up again. Of course. Right? Okay. You just need to when we make your back, guitar when DSI, when DSI 3, a sword. <laughs> when DSI 3 comes through, the tour for the next album comes through, we're planning a big production of massive gore and just doing it right. You know, you want record to companies don't want to give you enough money to do what you want. <coughs> We had to prove ourselves mm. that we could tour, and we know we can tour. Yeah, so that's a lot so of now they owe us. So we want the support to do the things we want to do, and that's make a fucking mess. Mm. Do you think your third album was, will be on Roadrunner as well? Let's hope so. Huh. Okay, yeah. Do you have any last comments to to our readers? That's just about all I have. Enjoy. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing the show. I've never seen you live before. Uh, other on, on video. Uh, if you like DSI music, man, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. How many songs do you play of the new song? Uh, the new album? Song, we usually play um, Satan Spawn. Satan Spawn, Trouble uh, Deception, Fiction, No the Deception, uh, right. Death of Dreaming. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. And Hill at Brand, do you play that? I don't know. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Please do. Uh, <laughs> That'd be cool. Don't tell me, man. Tell the rest of the band. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing, uh, we're video fanatics as well. I very much like to to tape the show. I won't sell it. I I usually trade. Sure, you want. Yeah, of course I can say that. Yeah. So, well, uh, well. If you want to tape it, man, for yourself, you can do. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. that's great. I really would like to. I don't to like it, man. People tape. Yeah. Great. Um, can I trade it to other people, or should I keep it to myself? I won't sell it, but can I trade it? Yeah, yeah. cool. Ahead, I know what things all about. <clears throat> a couple of my best friends are tape traders. Yeah, I'm a fanatic video trader. I. Do you know Ken Courage in Florida? No, I trade with a guy called John Berica, and uh, I think he's in New York. Also, very black metal yeah. interested. He yeah. films a lot of shows as well. And I, a I, friend of mine has just like fucking thousands and thousands of tapes. You name it, who he's got it. I mean, he sneaks him into big shows. Mm. Goes on the road. Can you ask him to address him to him? So can he just talk in? Yeah, that do. Does he trade videos as well? Could I have his address? Could you give me your address, and I can put him. Yeah, the yeah, with cool. He goes around a lot. So I can tell him where he's at one minute. Do I want to fight? Yeah, I'm sorry. Ja, det lyder sådan i hvert fald. Jeg mødte en af de mennesker fra Mayhem den anden dag. Fra Mayhem? Nå, ja. De mennesker, de guys i Therion, var last night, var tænkt, at Mayhem var de ene, der satte op bomben. Fordi de ikke kunne lide Therion. Uh, I didn't know there was a wall there. Yeah, well, who knows? Yeah. All I know is I met him and... Was it, was it any serious or just a little bomb or...? Uh... It blew a fucking hole in the wall. Was, wall? Yeah, and they tried to take the wall down. <laughs> yeah, it was, Fuck well, that. It wasn't small, it wasn't no firecrackers, man. It was fucking bomb. TNT. TNT? I heard there was a lot of fighting between the crowd and the pool. Yeah, that was.